It is 91.3 WYEP. I'm Liz Felix. And throughout Love Pittsburgh Music Month this July, we're featuring some of our uh, favorite talented musicians here in Pittsburgh in live and direct sessions. And tonight, very excited to have our first performer. She is Loren. Welcome. And uh, let's hear a song. Yo, what's up? Thank you for having me. Uh, this first song is called Flourish Mode. It's one of my favorites. I'm here with one of my best friends, Josiah, who is a talented musician. And here we go, Flourish Mode. Flourish, flourish, flourish mo mode. Ay. Flourish, flourish. They say, where you been, where you at, what have you been doing? I thought you would have blew up by now or moved out the city. I thought you were gonna take on the world What happened to you, girl? I said I'm just getting started ay, ay. I'm in flourish mode, ay. flourish mode Flourishing mode When is this flower bloom? I'm in my flourish mode ay. Flourish mode, ay. flourishing mode I had to dig beneath the soil, ask the Father for forgiveness. They talk about who I used to mess with, but baby, now I'm about my business. I'm in my flourish mode, ay, flourish mode, ay, flourishing mode. I didn't lose, I always win, get that established. I don't go and post all my moves, babe, I just make it happen. They could say I wouldn't away and change. Can I ask why you stay the same? So while you keep talking, oh, oh I'm in flourish mode, ay, flourish mode, ay, flourishing mode. When is this flower bloom? I'm in my flourish mode, ay, flourish mode, ay, flourishing mode, ay. Fl fl flourish, flourish. Flourish, mo, mo, mo. Flourish, 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 mo, mo, mo. Flourish, flourish, mo, 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 mo. I had to dig beneath the soil. Ask the Father for forgiveness. They talk about who I used to mess with. Well, baby, now I'm about my business. I'm in my flourish mode, ay. Flourish mode, flourishing mode, oh. Flourish, flourishing mode, flourishing mode. Flourish mode. <laughs> We're live and direct on 91.3 WIP with Loren. And uh, Josiah's here with you providing some uh, keyboards tonight. That was wonderful. That was Flourish Mode. Yes. On uh, WYEP. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, it's Love Pittsburgh Music Month. Loren, you're based right here in Pittsburgh. Yes. And uh, tell me a little bit about how you started singing and writing songs, because you have a really interesting and eclectic background. Ah, thank you so much. I um, started writing music, like many artists, as a small kid. Um, my mom had a before and after school program in our house where all of the kids were interested in music and all of us were pretty sheltered, um, weren't allowed to listen to a lot of stuff. So she encouraged us to do this thing called Thursday's Tracks where we wrote short songs um, and we had like 15 minutes to do so. so. So she'd give us like a topic and we'd write a song about it. And it was cool because in that moment... Um, we would all just break up and come back and write songs. And my mom would always question when I wrote a song, like, did you really write that? Because they turned out <laughs> being pretty good. Um, so it was in that moment that I really started falling in love with songwriting and just realizing I was finally, for me, like good at something. And songwriting and singing um, just was something I'd never stopped doing after that. So I'm a pastor's kid, so I always sing in the church already. Uh, but I really wasn't one of those standout like singers in church. Um, I was really quiet to myself. Um, so I'd always like take my shoes off. And whenever I took my shoes off for a solo or anything, um, I really felt comfortable. So I just really started uh, getting my own, um, coming into my own as I grew 
um, and had so many mentors, so many people come alongside me. I trained in Broadway and classical music as like a teenager. And then I had this opportunity to be with an independent label during my teenage years as well, which was fun, which I did like pop hip hop music. Um, so that was cool. And then the label kind of um, broke apart and me and the producer really connected. And I started making hip hop music. And this, it's, it's, I just kept experimenting with different genres. And I've been like really blessed to just have so many dope people come alongside me and push me forward. And it sounds like you have a lot of collaborators. We're going to talk a little bit about your yeah. new EP because you have some new music yes. to share with us. Um, and uh, it sounds like you worked with a lot of other talent in the Pittsburgh music yes. scene. Yes, yes, I did. Um, I have to just give like the biggest shout out to Paul Luke. Um, he has been such a good like mentor to me now. I'm working with him with the latest project I had called Pardon Me. Um, we started working on the project together in early 2021. Um, I had brought him some songs and was like, hey, I really want this Americana influence on the songs. Um, and he really helped me like shape together just like the instrumentation. Um, the songs I had pretty much written out already, but um, his influence was just so significant. So Paul Luke, shout out to you because you're just incredible. He's a, he has dope music out as well. And then I had so many cool artists on the project um, from uh, there's Cole Insko, who's a drummer, Sean and Kristen Baker. They're a cool uh, duo here in the city, uh, musicians, piano. They play everything, um, but Sean was a piano and Kristen was ba uh, bass on the project. So um, who else? Mike, Mike Minda. Um, so many cool people on the project. So it was awesome. How did you come in contact, especially like with Paul or any of these other folks? Like it sounds like you have a lot of support around you um, in making your yeah. music with this newest EP through through this scene, which I think is really cool because yes. people don't necessarily think of Pittsburgh as like a big, you know, music city necessarily. That's yeah, that's real. That's honest. Um, it's people don't think of it that way. But I think once you get connected, you just like form like alliances where you really just all understand the struggle um, here just to kind of like feel like um, you have listeners and you have an audience, which we actually do have. Um, and it's cool when you have those alliances. I've found Paul Luke. Actually, I can't even take credit from that. My mom found him on Instagram. She really? was helping me with <laughs> <laughs> She was like, this artist is so cool. Like, she's really into music as well. So um, I think he had like a hashtag, like some Pittsburgh hashtag that she found him through because I was looking for artists for my event, No Covers. And she found Paul Luke. Then and I start listening to his music. My husband start listening to his music. He couldn't stop singing his songs, and we were like, "Okay, we have to get in contact with him." Um, so that's how I found Paul. And then just like being at different events in the city has been essential. Um, talking uh, talking to different artists through social media is always an advantage, especially through the pandemic. That was like all we had. Um, and then I had Kenny. Uh, uh, Kenny was on the project as well. Um, Kenny Stockard. Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> Kenny Stockhart. <laughs> he like made amazing vocals. Um, he was on my background vocals for a lot of this project, and he's really incredibly talented as well. And I got connected with him through Paul. So I just think it's like once you put yourself out there, you go to events, um, and you just, for me, it was like going, trying to be the dumbest in the room, um, you know, and having like these dope musicians around me who have elevated my sound and hopefully... I hope I've elevated them as well. So now we have like alliances. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, Pardon Me is the name of the EP and it's also the title track, which we're going to hear now. Is there yes. anything you want to say about this specific song? <sighs> Pardon Me. This one, I first wrote this song when I was 14. Wow. Um, and it's just like over the years has gained more meaning. It's just about like no longer holding my tongue and interrupting um, things that I feel uncomfortable about and being serious about my boundaries. So it's just for people to, um, just to, to remember to speak up for themselves. Um, I, I continuously say in the song, pardon me for pretending your love was a game. Um, and there's been so many situations um, where I've pretended to be something that I'm not or pretended that love was a game. <laughs> so it's really cool to see this song grow with me because as a kid, I was just a dramatic kid. Uh, you know, you know, I was just Taylor Swift fan making this song. 
Um, but now it, it has weight. So pardon me. Is the song we're doing next? It's Loren here on 91.3 WYUP. Thank you. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Pretending you were everything to me, knowing we would never be. Well, I'm done pretending Pretending I didn't have a choice And deep inside I hushed God's voice Well, time to let it be Pretending everything was just alright Pretending love was just a silly game Ooh, pretending my heart wasn't on the line Pretending my love wasn't laced with pride Trying to prove I didn't waste my time Well, I was pretending Wanting my comfort over truth Letting our history fog my view Now I could finally see Pretending everything was just alright Pretending love was just Silly game, ooh, pretending my heart wasn't on the line. Oh, 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 oh. well, I'm done pretending. Pardon me, ooh, 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 I'm sorry. Ooh, ooh, pardon me, ooh. Pretending your love was a game For pretending your love was a game Oh, hey, oh. Pretending everything was just alright Pretending love was just a silly game Ooh, Pretending my heart wasn't on I 
was faithful even then I'll always remember remember us skin to skin remember just how God showed me love I never knew and now you came and took my heart and changed my view and when you have a family of your own and you barely visit home oh i'll remember remember us skin to skin hey, skin to skin hand in hand on the field i'm your biggest fan get down the walls take the fall and i'll pave the way hey i'll reminisce on you within how god was faithful beautiful. That's Loren here on 91.3 WYEP. We're live and direct with Loren. Uh, Josiah's here playing keys for us today. We just heard Navy May and Pardon Me, the title track to the uh, new EP from Loren, who is from right here in Pittsburgh. Uh, celebrating Love Pittsburgh Music Month on WYEP throughout July. And I'm glad you played that song because I did want to ask you about it. it sounds like it's autobiographical. Yes, it truly is. It's uh, uh, just the story of my just experience having my daughter, just being pregnant with her, um, remembering her inside, you know, my belly and just um, believing that like God was faithful at that time um, and just thinking about who she'll become and just always remembering that skin to skin time. You know, when you have a baby, they tell you, you know, you really need that skin to skin time, you know, and it's funny with my daughter, my husband had more skin to skin time than me. He was like, all right, <laughs> this is for this is for dads. Um, and it's just such a beautiful time that I think I'll never forget. Now she's two and a half, um, and she doesn't need me as much, you know, and I know that'll happen more and more as she grows. And, um, that's what the song is about. Just that skin to skin time with your child, um, with a loved one, um, anybody in that parenting role, just that experience of being close to your kid and just believing that no matter who they become, you're just going to be their biggest fan. Um, so it's kind of just like a love story of just how my daughter kind of made me stronger when I um, needed it most. Did having a daughter and becoming a mother change how you work on music at all? Like, did that disrupt the way that you go about creating songs and practicing? Or, I mean, obviously, like it had a positive effect, yeah. <laughs> which is inspiring that song. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's changed everything. For one, I'm more productive. When I get time to work on music, I'm like, okay, we got two hours. She's taking a nap. Game. Let's go. So I'm a lot more productive um, with my creative time. Um, and it's also just made me like just more focused and have more reason to go after what I'm, what I'm doing. Um, it's changed how I write music. Um, I just... I feel as if I want to be more of an example for her with what I say. Um, being a mom is now my life. It's everything I, you know, and everything I do. But it's given me so much, um, so much uh, strength and just like resilience. So it's, it's definitely shifted everything. But I think all in all, in a good way, I did have that like postpartum, to be honest, I had like a little postpartum, like depression kind of dealt with all of those emotions of being a new mom. But my daughter is literally, she's like the sweetest little bean. We call her beans. And she's the <laughs> sweetest bean. So it's changed everything for me. So I'm talking with Loren here on WYEP. And uh, we're talking about the new EP, which is called Pardon Me. But then it sounds like this is going to feed into a full-length album for you, right? Yes. Yes. This is like going to be a full album where I have so much more to just talk about when it comes to motherhood, when it comes to my faith, and just really encouraging people to be happy with their current life. I think with social media and everything, you know, it's easy to compare yourself um, to not like your nine to five, to not like what you're doing because somebody else out there is, you know, it seems like they're killing it. And I'm someone on social media who might seem like I'm just so peaceful and happy all the time. And that's just not realistic. And it's just not, I think, a, a life that any of us really want. So my goal with my music is to uh, make people enjoy and to encourage people to enjoy their right now, um, because this, you know, we only get one chance at this life thing. So 
Pardon Me is not only about speaking up for yourself, but it's about enjoying your life. It's been really cool to see. We talked a little bit about the collaborators on the new EP and some of the people in the local music scene. But you're also doing this live event uh, called No Covers that yes. you've been doing like the last couple of years. Uh, what is that about? How did it come about? And just tell me a little bit about No Covers. No Covers. That is like my first baby. You know, No Covers is an event that I created in 2019 with the encouragement from Kelly Strayhorn Theater. I was with their Future Makers cohort program. And in that program, they encourage you to create an event or just do something um, in the community and in the city. And that's when I kind of started the idea of No Covers. I just kind of had this down um, space I was in, kind of like struggling um, with putting my music out there just because... Um, I had done a whole bunch of performances and I was asked to do cover songs. Um, and with no covers, uh, the, the theme of the show is no cover songs. So you're not doing anybody else's music, you're doing your original music. And when you're not a popular artist, it's really common for people to say, hey, we want you to do a few covers or they have covers they suggest. And I actually, I mean, I'm a fan of Sam, um, Sam Cooke, I'm a fan of, you know, Taylor Swift, so many different artists from different genres. It is fun to do covers, but I found with me, I was asked to do covers and it would um, sometimes uh, make me feel like as a songwriter, my words didn't really matter. Um, there was one event in particular where I was accessing a song and it was like a rap song and I was like dancing. And if you know me, I can do a two step, but that's just, <laughs> that's kind of it with the dancing. And I remember getting done with it and just feeling like I can't do music if I'm going to be this girl because this isn't me and this isn't um, why I started doing this. So um, I channeled that energy into making no covers where I tried to get funding to create an event where songwriters in the city of Pittsburgh um, get paid really well to come perform one original song with a live band. Um, so their lyrics are behind them so people can really interact with their words. And my goal is always for people to find their next new favorite artist. And that's really cool about having the lyrics behind everybody. And I love that uh, you called Thank it you. no covers because, yes. you know, it's like there's so much out there in this scene to share. And uh, that's a really cool way to do it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we had no covers three years uh, 2019. We even had it in 2020, which was virtual, um, but it was still really fun. And in 2022, we're uh, taking a break this year because I have so much going on with the album that I'm really excited about putting all my efforts into that. But we will be back in 2024 with no covers. So, um, and it's been well received um, from the crowd uh, audience that comes out. Um, Pittsburgh, I just feel like you know, once you have the event and you tell people about it, there's music lovers here that are like, yo, what in the world? Like, I was waiting for this. So we have fun every time at No Covers. Loren is here for a live and direct session on 91.3 WYP, and I think you've got one more song for us. Yes, I do. This one is the vibe song. People usually just say, is that, are you going to do the vibe song? This one's called Hair Store Bamboo. <laughs> yeah, so this song is just about good vibes and, uh, it's about not needing anything but good people and just good music to have a good time. We don't need money. We don't need status. Uh, just a cool, uh, just a couple cool souls in the room. So this one's called Hair Store Bamboo off my new EP. Da -da 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 -da. Star bamboos look I can ride my bike with no handles I like a good deep condition like shampoo Cup never half empty, always half full Preach loud, I pray in private Won't choose, make a moves in silence Good sounds, small crowds, good time spent See when the weekends we bring We bring the vibes We bring, we bring the vibes And we raise the tide But I'm old school Do what I want when I want to Respect intellect, yeah, but I break rules Serve when you earn, stay humble I drink Seamus in my mind Eight tracks, 45's less unwind But a good time Just a couple branches clinging to the vine Cause we got the peace of mind We bring the vibes We bring, we bring the vibes We raise the tide we raise the ties, we bring the vibes, yeah. We bring, we bring the vibes, and we raise the ties. We raise, we raise the ties. We bring, we bring, we bring, we bring the 
da da I love how it's your tea tree or you Ginger tea does the body so good Shake butter skin, I gotta stay so smooth Classic like grandma, so fool Don't let them see a crown till High and low, good or bad man, we all in Kick back, go tracks, good time spent See when the weekends we bring We bring the vibes We bring, we bring the vibes And we raise the ties We raise, we raise the ties We bring the vibes yeah. We bring, we bring the vibes We raise the ties yeah. We bring, we bring the vibes We bring, we bring, we bring We bring the vibes That's Loren on 91.3 WYEP. That was wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's a beautiful EP. It's called Pardon Me, if you have a chance to check that out. And then there's going to be a full length later on this year. Yes, coming soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Josiah and Loren, thank you so much for performing Thank you. today. Thank you.